This week on PBC Jabs, Polly Malinaji breaks down this weekend's Charlo Williams and Quay Armares title fights. We get to look at other talented fighters who are featured on the same card, and we get to know undefeated and fast rising heavyweight prospect Izu Ogono. What's up, boxing fans? I'm your host, Jordan Hardy, and this is PBC Jabs. On December 10th, PBC will feature two world title belts live on Showtime. First in our co-main event, Jermall Charlo makes the third title defense of his 154-pound IBF World Championship against undefeated Julian Williams. Then in our main event of the evening, Jesus Cuellar puts his 126-pound WBA World title on the line against former three-division world champ Abner Mares. Among those who will be sitting ringside is former two-division champ Polly Malinaji, who will call the action as part of Showtime's broadcasting crew. Malinaji recently stopped by to tell us what he thinks we'll see in these two highly anticipated showdowns. Here's a quick look. Julian Williams wins this fight if he can make Jamal Charlo start to doubt his jab. Jamal Charlo has a very good jab. He's going to base everything off that jab. From the flip side, Jamal Charlo wins this fight if he, if he can keep Julian off balance with his own jab. I think Julian, if he's able to work his way inside, uh, make Jamal doubt the jab, you'll see a lot of creativity from, from the offense on the inside of Julian Williams. Abner Mattis wins this fight is if he, if he is able to balance the amount of banging he does with the amount of boxing he does. I think he's going to have to be a little bit more of a cerebral fighter than he's shown at times. Jesus Cuellar wins this fight if he's able to be on the inside and bang it out. But it's not as simple as that because Abner Mattis is also no dummy on the inside. He can get dirty, he can take it to the trenches. So, you know, he can take you to places where you don't want to be at. And if you don't land your big shots, you're going to have a long night with Abner even on the inside. Visit PremierBoxingChampions.com for the complete breakdown. In addition to Saturday's two marquee title belts, several other exciting PBC fighters will be in action, including 140 pound rising star Sergey Lipinets, 160 pound powerhouse Hugo Centeno Jr. 154-pound knockout artist Erickson Lubin, unbeaten 130-pound prospect Mario Barrios, and former world title challenger Josecito Lopez. Finally, former kickboxing champion turned boxer Izu Ogono is now setting his sights on a heavyweight title. We thought we would take a moment to get to know the Polish prospect who joins us now. So, you have a very interesting story. You were born in Poland, you are a kickboxing champion, you speak three languages, and you have a master's degree in physical education. Just to name a few. So what brought you into boxing? Getting into boxing was kind of natural for me because it was a transition from kickboxing. And uh, at the moment, it was just a challenge I felt like I wanted to take. And uh, within time, you know, I got better and better. And, uh, and here I am today, you know, getting the chance to fight in the world, world's uh, biggest boxing scene, which is the United States. So this is really exciting for me. For fans who haven't seen you before, what do you consider to be your strongest attribute in the ring? Well, um, I bring power and speed. You know, I'm, uh, to, uh, I train with, uh, with uh, Kevin Berry, who is also the coach of Joseph Parker, and he's very big, you know, on endurance, and, um, and we always come, come to, the, to fight in a great shape. So I'll come to fight in a great shape. I believe I have the power, I have the explosiveness. I'm 6'5", you know, I'll be weigh, I weigh around 230 pounds, so, you know, I'll be ready to go for the whole 12 rounds, you know, coming with power and coming with the explosiveness. Now, who do you currently consider to be the top fighter in the heavyweight division, and how far away do you feel you are from reaching that level? Well, you know, if you look at, if you want to talk about the top fighters, you have to talk about the champions who are out there right now, you know, and it's Deontay Wilder. Uh, there's definitely Anthony Joshua coming from uh, from the UK, and right now we are looking at the winner of the fight, Parker Ruiz. You know, so um, I believe that the, the next few fights are going to show us, they will show me uh, and everyone around how far we are from the you know top um, top fighters in the heavyweight division. Thank you so much for your time, Izu, and we look forward to following what is sure to be a successful boxing career. Well, that's all for this week's PBC Jabs. I'm Jordan Hardy. Thank you for watching and be sure to catch us next week as we continue to bring you the best in boxing.